Here I am at the Stats Canada website, www.statcan.gc.ca. And what I want to do is download some data from CanSim. Okay. Now, CanSim is found under Key Resources, CanSim. Okay. Now, the challenge with CanSim is that there is so much data here, it can be very hard to find. Employment is a good example. Say you just search for employment, that's sort of the first thing you'd think of. Now you do this search, you get back huge numbers of hits, and I'll tell you that the hit, the, the one that you're, is the most commonly used series is not even in this first page worth of hits. Right? You could go and take a look under labor, under employment, and you get the same problem. There's none of this first page is the, the series that's most commonly used. Okay, So the fast fix is to search by table number. Now I've memorized the employment table number. I know it's 282-0087. And just search for that, and it comes right up, okay? But the average person has not memorized the numbers, and so has a problem, okay? So the question is, where do you actually find out what those table numbers are? Okay. Um, one useful place for um, sort of the leading indicators is to go under media, um, it has today's daily, and it also has a useful um, table called economic indicators. Now, this economic indicators table, again, economic indicators, um, if you look, say, under labor, it has the latest employment numbers, um, the average weekly wages, or employment by sex, age, and type of work, for example. If you click on that table, it then says, there, 282-0087. So once you're in this media site, it basically only has the good stuff, okay? And so it's much, much easier to find what you want and then just click go and find the table that looks right, and then click on the CANSIM number. Okay. Um, another place that's useful to go in the site, in the StatsCan, I'm going to go back up to the home page here, on the StatsCan website, another place that's useful is these popular picks. So um, suppose immigration is something to look at. Now this actually takes us directly to the immigrant numbers. Now suppose we're interested in um, ad removing data. Um, say we want to look at the history of, um, uh, I don't know, what do we have? Um, does it not break out? India, India, Hong Kong, but means Philippines, other Asia. It bre breaks out. I can't believe it, this breaks out Greece, but doesn't break out China. Wow. I suppose we're interested in Greek immigration. So un un undo everything and then look at the total immigration from Greece and look at the time frame. Uh, let's go from quarter one um, and then go all the way, oh, it was all the way back to 1955. There you go. Choose time as rows to do 
a big thing. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, and then you download the table. This actually is quarterly data. I've got another um, another video on how to uh, convert quarterly data to annual data. Um, so you know, let's go back home. So that's another useful thing. Um, uh, uh, income again. Yeah, you can use the same strategy. Here we have the income of Canadians. Uh, the income of Canadians takes us to the directly to the daily. Now I was chatting to somebody who worked at Stats Can and saying, you know, I find it a real problem to find what I need in Canson. His suggestion to me is search the daily and find a related news release. So here, this is the one on income of Canadians. You can find it in the daily. Once you found a news release, you can search through and find the CANSIM table numbers. And these look like, well, these are promising ones. Um, and these take us directly to the, the, the numbers we want. So it's, it's kind of cranky, um, but uh, you know, if you play around with it for a little bit, you can usually find um, some good stuff.